Hello friends, this is Odds, at least I've been for a little while now, and today uh, I'm gonna delve into what makes each survivor unique in Dead by Daylight. As I'm sure you know, all survivors are basically skins of each other, they all have the same base attributes, they move at the same speed, they have the same action uh, modifiers, they, it's all completely identical uh, for the most part, but there are a few things that set them apart. Uh, their size, their unique cosmetics and how well they can camouflage, as well as their breathing and pain sounds, which uh, sometimes can differ slightly. Overall, I'm glad to say, most survivors are basically the same. The differences between them are pretty damn small. There's really... almost every character is about as loud as each other, and almost all of them have chances to be very bright or be relatively stealthy, which is great. Um, but some of them are stealthier than others. And if you're playing in a tournament, or if you want every little advantage that you can get, then perhaps watching this video will give you an insight as to which ones are best uh, and most suited to you. All of this information that I'm going to go in detail in this video and explain can be found in my updated spreadsheet that you can find in a link in the description. This is an updated spreadsheet where I keep information about builds for killer, uh, perks on killer survivors, the noise in the survivors, some of which is hard to find elsewhere. Uh, so do check it out in some time if you want to be up to date. But yeah, so far you've taken my word for it, let me actually show you. So as you can see, uh, this is the best outfit for Dwight. No, for uh, for real though, we're going to be picking the absolute darkest outfit on each character. But as you'll see very, very quickly, um, it doesn't really matter if you're trying to stealth if you are using charms. Uh, so please, do yourself a favor, and if you want to be very stealthy, which is a completely acceptable way of playing the game, remove the charms that you have on. Uh, especially if they're the really bright and distinct ones, because it's very, very easy for the killer to spot you. But yeah, uh, memes aside, let's start with Dwight. Uh, Dwight's darkest uh, outfit. Uh, there are a few dark shirts, uh, for sure, uh, but almost all of them have something that really sticks out. And even this sweater is really not the absolute best. Go with the prestige body, and you'll find that his arms, which are usually very bright, suddenly become a lot darker and then blend in quite well. This common set of pants, is, uh, I believe, free for everybody. And you can go with the prestige head or the dark cap recolor, which can be found in the store. And I think this is as good as Dwight gets. Dwight is a perfectly average character, so if you want to have a little bit of help, uh, this will do the trick. Uh, for Meg, you also want to go the prestige route. She does have some good alternatives that will make her blend in relatively well. I've seen some survivors uh, run things like this and farm and get decent results. Uh, but honestly, you cannot go wrong with prestige head and prestige body. Prestige pants are an option as well, uh, but I think the absolute darkest and the most blendiest of all of them are actually these saggy pants uh, from the Street Mar Smart Collection, which you can buy in the um, in the store for iridescent shards. You don't need to pay actual money for this one. Uh, Mega's pretty good. She's quite small, so she's, she's a very fine option. Uh, don't forget, though, that she's quite loud. Um, and her breathing is very distinct, so don't be too surprised if a survivor, uh, if a killer spots you, um, because they pick up on your noise. Uh, next up is Claudette, which is arguably the best character in the game, in terms of being small, uh, having dark skin, and also having extremely, uh, dark clothes. She's probably the number one pick survivor in tournaments, for very good reason. Um, and you'll see a variety of, 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 of things. Uh, going full Prestige 3 Claudette is an option. It's very accessible since going Prestige 3, anyone can do it. Uh, so yeah, going Prestige 3, honestly, you, you can't go wrong with it. It's a lot darker It's a lot darker than it looks in the menu. But I think the absolute darkest is the one I'm showing you uh, right now. With a Frohawk hairstyle, although many others can still do the job. And the recolored brown shirt and the blackberry skirt, which again, you can buy um, with Iridescent Shards, I believe. In some tournaments, however, you'll see some survivors run these pants. This is also pretty damn good, although I find that the shoes are a bit lighter, and this overall is darker. Uh, but honestly, uh, pick your poison, they're all very, very good. Uh, next up is Jake. Uh, Jake does come with a, with a, a sort of collection of darker outfits, like this, but as you can see, the undershirt kind of pops off and gives you away a little bit. Um, so I, what I really recommend is that you go just full prestige uh, body and head. 
and it's very like the difference between this and other heads is very minimal. A prestige everybody has, and it's very very good. But there are other heads with uh, sh uh, long hair that cover your ears, which is also pretty good. As for the pants, this is from the Fog Travelers collection, which you should be able to find in the store. These are the darkest and I think best, but I'm sure there's others out there that are not absolutely terrible. This though, I think are the darkest and um, probably the best. Uh, Prestige, I wouldn't bother because it is a bit brighter than uh, than his coat. Uh, but yeah, this is probably the best one you can get on Jake. Uh, next up, Nia. Nia is probably number two most popular in tournaments and one of the probably the top four or five survivors for sure. Uh, she's very small. She's not particularly loud. And as you can see, her camouflage is pretty excellent. You want to go with Prestige Head, which is basically the best one she's got. And the recolor brown shirt and recolor brown pants. In some maps, you'll see the occasional survivor go the blue route. And that's okay. I think generically... Uh, you want to go with the brown one instead. She is very hard to spot and honestly is a very, very good pick if you're trying to be stealthy as a, one of the smaller survivors, obviously. Uh, Bill uh, comes to no surprises to anyone. He's loud. Uh, he's pretty big. As a licensed character, he basically has no uh, options for cosmetics. Uh, from behind, no matter which skin you put on, you're going to see that his hair is white, bright, and generally hard to conceal. Uh, but believe it or not, he's not terribly visible with the prestige uh, outfit. So if you go full prestige, you'll definitely see a small difference. Uh, prestige way, way darker once the lightning game kicks in. So it's actually not as terrible as it could be, but definitely still uh, among the worst. Uh, next up is David. Uh, there are a few hairs that you can uh, that you can pick on or a few heads. Uh, I personally believe that the Prestige one is the least bulky, um, but it's really up to you, and it also seems to blend in the best. Uh, you will want to get the, the Sentinel set pants, which seem to be the darkest, although there are certainly other options, so, you know, go with, go with what you want. He definitely has other options for pants. And as for the uh, body, you might be tempted to go for the... For the darker one, this logo on the back, actually really easy to spot once you're crouching in a corner. Um, instead, you could go for this if you want to be protected on the back, or even better, my favorite, this one. This one blends in quite well, the color doesn't really stand out from your pants as much, and it's pretty minimalistic. With David having a relatively loud breathing when he's healthy, uh, he's honestly not a horrible pick with this clothes, and uh, blends in surprisingly well. But probably not your first pick, as he is one of the larger characters. Uh, next up is Lori, and unfortunately she's another uh, licensed character with very few options for stealth. Uh, you could go for this button-up shirt that I think is really bright and has a lot of bright elements. I think Prestige is probably better, although not by, not by much. She is bright, uh, and she stands out against almost any background, so she really isn't great. Her Prestige head, uh, honestly, only puts blood on her face, her her blonde head is just as bright, so instead I recommend that you select the alternative head that should come for free with your DLC. So yeah, go full prestige otherwise, uh, she's really not a fantastic pick if you want to blend in. Perhaps when she gets new cosmetics, uh, you'll find that she does a better job. Right now, there's really nothing going for her. Ace is actually one of the top pick, and in my opinion, top 4, top 5 um, go-to survivors for tournaments as well. Uh, if you are a freebie, you can use the tuxedo one that I think he comes uh, with by default. And this is already pretty good. This is already pretty hard to spot. My opinion, this one is even better. This is one of the recolors that you can find in the store. It's pretty brown, pretty hard to see. Uh, with the prestige head, you have a pretty solid all-around uh, stealthy outfit. And to go with this, Ace is one of the quietest survivors. Very quiet when healthy. Very, very quiet when injured. Notably so, probably by far the quietest survivor in the entire class. So that makes him a very, very good pick uh, for more than one reason. Uh, Feng Min is a bit of the opposite. She's not as large as, as uh, Ace, obviously. Um, so she's a bit smaller, but about everything else is just, you know, the opposite and, and way, way worse. Um, you can go with a prestige head. 
to have a slightly darker face and a very minimalistic, hard to see hair, which is great. She has a small frame to go with it, but her average skin is really, really, really bright. Even if we go prestigious, a lot of bright elements. You could go with the default uh, little sweater, uh, which covers you from behind quite well. Not so much from the front though. From my experience, um, even the sweater is not the best. From my experience, the best one is the alien sci-fi coat that you can buy in the store. This blends in the most and most consistently when you crouch and hide around. Uh, however, don't do that too much, uh, because Feng Min, uh, when injured, is one of the loudest characters. And when healthy, when she runs, she has one of the most distinct uh, breathings that is really hard to recognize and track for, say, a spirit. So she's not great in terms of... Uh, she's not amazing. She's not the worst either in terms of stealth, but her noise is quite, um, quite distinct, so watch out for that. Next up, we got Quentin. Uh, Quentin's honestly not horrible. He's one of the taller characters, of course. Um, but uh, with his very limited options, he's actually not terrible either. Um, I would say go full prestige on all the options. His clothes are not particularly dark, but when you put prestige on them, they actually blend in uh, rather well. And in some of the darker maps, you can actually hide surprisingly well. So not a lot of options, but he's not actually too terrible. Just a shame that there's not a lot of cosmetics to go. Uh, Tap is actually amazing. He's not particularly loud at all. And if you check, uh, if you take these, which I think come with your DLC for free, you will have a pretty dark, I don't even think you need prestige for this one. Uh, you will have a pretty dark character with dark skin that doesn't stick out and only a little brightness in the front and on the back where the color of the uh, of the shirt um, pops behind his neck. Other than that, he's actually quite hard to see and not super loud either. So he's a very decent pick if you want to go this route. Um, and with other cosmetics coming in, honestly, he's, he's really probably not a bad pick at all. Uh, next up is Kate. Uh, Kate is arguably one of the quietest uh, female survivors, which is fantastic. And I would say also she's uh, a very, very solid option if you are trying to get the most advantage. Especially if you go with the uh, brunette um, head, which obviously stands out way less than basically anything else that's really bright. And covers you quite well. And then use the ugly sweater collection as well as one of her darker pants. I believe she's got two dark ones. In my opinion, uh, this one from the Root 66 uh, set is the best, but you might you might like the other one better. You can find this in the store. This makes Kate relatively small, relatively quiet, relatively blendy. Honestly, a great pick. Adam is probably uh, number four or number three in the best survivors to pick uh, for tournaments. He is not particularly loud either. And as you can see, his skin and his clothes are really, really dark and blending extremely well in many of the dark maps. So much so that honestly, chasing an atom can be a nightmare. And if he hides in a little corner, good luck seeing him. Uh, <laughs> uh, go for this particular recolor of his pants and this particular recolor of his jacket, but do explore other options. There's definitely some other ones. I feel like this one blends in the floor the most. Uh, so this is my favorite. And you can also go with a prestige head if you like. That's a pretty good option. I've gone with the shaved off one, which sticks out even less, making him a little bit uh, less bulky. A, a great, great option um, for maps where you can actually hide. Obviously, if you're going to a very bright map, uh, it really doesn't matter all that much. But it's a, it's a very solid pick regardless. Uh, next up, Jeff. Nobody picks these characters because they think uh, he's stealthy. But honestly, there are some saving uh, graces to him. So if you have the normal jacket and you apply the prestige one, as you can see, uh, it does it does make a significant difference, especially in the front, um, where it becomes a little bit less bright. And you can have this particular heavy metal set uh, pants, which actually blend in relatively all right. Uh, his heads are generally, you know, not all that crazy. I found that this one's this one looks the most like bush and vegetation. So this one covers you the most, and it's actually fairly decent. It 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 hovers accurately on top of you, but it covers you quite well. Other than the front, you can hide pretty well. But still, this is a bulky character that's really loud, 
that always has this stupid uh, can opener hanging on this side. You really, you really don't want to select this killer. Uh, forgive me. Uh, this character, if you want to hide, but he's an, he can be all right-ish, I suppose, with these options. And not be as bad as you might think. Uh, next up, Jane Romero. Uh, Jane's actually not the absolute loudest character. When she's healthy, she's quite quiet. And even though she's a bit thicker than some of the other girls, she actually is fairly small as well in stature and everything else. She's a fine character to hide and use stealth. I don't think she's terrible. She is a bit louder when she is injured, however. Uh, going prestige is not a horrible idea. Although I still find uh, some bright details that I think you are better off um, avoiding by using the recolor uh, called uh, Plum Pants and Well Red Shirt from the a very special spe uh, episode recolor. This is basically a recolor of her uh, basic outfit. Uh, her hair, however, uh, is a pay to win uh, <laughs> item. This is uh, from the, the interviewee uh, set and this is iridescent, sorry, art excels only. So you will have to pay actual cash for this. But there are alternatives. You could get this one from the Rift that was free if you got the Rift. Um, not free at all then, <laughs> but you know what I mean? If you got this one, this is a fine alternative. Uh, P3 is a fine alternative. And there are some other colors that are not as dark, but are very close and they are either free or Irish hard. So you could, you could grab those and that would be uh, totally okay. But this is the absolute darkest. So if you really are taking it seriously, uh, probably put on this one. And then Jane becomes a fairly good stealth character that blends in relatively well uh, with clothes that are not too... Um, that are not too bright, uh, only her, maybe her shoes stand out a little bit, but honestly not too bad at all. Uh, next up we got Ashley, which is probably one of the worst characters, it's up there with Jeff and Bill, he's extremely loud. And um, yeah, uh, oh, what can I, what can I even say, uh, it's a, it's a really, really, it's a really, really sad affair, uh, none of her cosmetics really help too much, so I say go full prestige. And you'll be slightly, slightly less bright uh, than if you are not. And you can still kind of hide and the blood sometimes does, you know, conceal you fairly well. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's still among the worst. So very little reason to play this character if you're looking for a stealth uh, advantage. I uh, mean, well, Nancy um, is also a licensed character with very few um, uh, cosmetics yet. I've also found that it's pay to win again. You want to, if you want to stealth the most with Nancy, you want to bring this red jacket, uh, Battle of the X's uh, outfit in the store, and both prestige head and prestige pants. I think this makes you blend the most and has the most um, symmetry of color among everything. Still not great, as you can see in the pictures. It's not, you know, you don't, you don't go. Uh, super, super dark in a corner, um, but until we get new cosmetics, this is as good as she gets. That being said, even though she's not super stealthy, she's fairly quiet and she's fairly small, so she's a good character in that regard, uh, for sure. Steve also has very few cosmetics. The darkest you can go, in my opinion, is Prestige Pants, uh, Prestige Head, and the ugly sweater that you can find in the store, I believe. This, honestly, isn't the absolute worst, but it's still rather bright, he's still rather tall, uh, not, not, not terrible by any degree, but not the best stealth, um, uh, user either. Uh, next up we've got Yui, which is actually really, really difficult. As you'll notice, most of her skin, uh, is shown in many of this, you know, in this, uh, skins. And that makes it really hard to, to really blend in. Uh, going full prestige is an option. There are several recolors that you can go to that make you blend relatively okay. Uh, the problem with them, in general, is that this bright pink logo is always on the back. Uh, the only way to avoid it is to use the DLC exclusive, when you buy it from Steam, the whole DLC of uh, Cursed Legacy. Uh, you get this one, that makes it golden, mm, but still rather bright almost in almost every other regard. So I say I would pick this particular recolor, the brown one, or one of the other ones. And as for the head, the hollowed... Uh, blood one uh, that I think you can find in the store. I think this one's probably the best. From behind, you blend in relatively well. And it's not as bright as some of the other ones, of course. Uh, if you have nothing else, uh, Prestige, as you will see, is a better option than non-Prestige. And some of the darker hairs can be alright as well. 
Or you can also go with the beanie, which is not very bulky. But as you can see, almost all of them are bright to a degree or another. But I would probably go with this if I had to stealth with Yui. She's not the absolute worst, but she doesn't have a lot of good cosmetics to stealth with just yet. Next up, Zarina. Zarina is probably the best stealth character to come out lately. Uh, you could go full prestige, and honestly, that would be quite alright. You'll notice that her voice recorder is on every recolor of her pants in the store. For that reason, I recommend that you find this alternative, and that you pair it with the same set, the Independent Film Festival one. There are some buttons on the back, but trust me, these look very natural. They don't stand out at all when you're when you're trying to stealth. And if you put this with the prestige head, which is what I have right now, this looks fairly good. This looks uh, fairly good and, and stealths fairly well. So I think Zarina is a pretty good option here if you want to pick a stealthy character that doesn't really stick out too much. Next up, uh, next up is Cheryl. And quite honestly, surprisingly, her stealthiest char uh, character model is Prestige Head, Prestige Legs, and the sweater of Metatron um, sweater that you could collect with a coat during Christmas. Um, alternatively, you could go for Prestige, although I think this is really, really bright. Uh, alternatively, you could also pick the New Beginning, sorry, Fresh Start, uh, uh, the orange and black set. This is pretty good. Um, dark pants, dark hair, dark uh, back. However, these arms are very bright, and the uh, and the little shoulders are very bright. And there's real, there's no real way of hiding them. This is an absolutely terrible. It is a decent alternative, but it's a full set that you have to buy with uh, actual money. So, if you didn't snatch this uh, sweater, maybe that's your other option. Uh, not as bad as, as I thought, but not the absolute best stealth character. She is rather quiet, which is something that she's going she's got going for her, luckily. Uh, for Felix, you're gonna go the same route as as Adam. You're gonna pick his normal outfit and you're gonna find the darkest recolor in the store, which is this one right here, I believe. Although there are some other ones that you could choose from. And as for his head, as you'll see, he's very blonde and bright. You could go prestige to make it a bit um, to make it a bit darker, or go for the Oktoberfest head, which will actually, um, make the back of your head a bit darker. This is fairly good. Fairly good. Felix is very tall, uh, obviously. Uh, he sticks out quite a bit, but his clothing is actually fairly, fairly good. And you hide, if you hide in a bush, there's not going to be a lot of colors giving you away. So, definitely an okay, uh, choice if you really like Felix and you want us to keep a low profile. Next up is Elodie. Um, I recommend you go for the Prestige, um, the Prestige Leg. She's a recently released character, so there's not a lot of options. And find the ugly sweater that you could also get with a coat during Christmas. Alternatively, if you don't have this, perhaps the next best option is to go P, um, uh, P uh, the Prestige Body and Prestige Head. I personally think this is probably even harder to see. Uh, but if you want to wait for more cosmetics to go around before you pick her, uh, that would be all right. She's not a horrible pick as it is right now. LED is pretty good. Now that you know all of these cosmetics, it's time to never, ever, ever, ever use them and always bring the brightest clothes uh, available. That's right. This will make your local killers extremely proud. So hopefully you will not misuse the information that I've given you today. Uh, that being said, if you uh, want to debate me and, and maybe argue that some of the cosmetics that I suggested may not be the best and that you have a better idea, or that maybe some of the characters that I described as loud are quieter. If you have, you know, if you have uh, any, any feedback for this video, I would really like it if you leave a comment down below. I would also really appreciate it if you keep me in your prayers, because this is the second time I record this video. The first time I had the microphone muted the whole time, and now I'm gonna look at my recording software and sigh in relief knowing that the voice is being picked up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you um, without too much trouble uh, in a bush near me very, very soon. See you in the next one.